Kyle. You going off. <laughs> Hold on. What's good, y'all? It's your boy Cam back with a YouTube video. And today, we'll be checking out this dude named Milo. Um, he effortless, effortlessly takes apart black feminist NAACP president at WCU. Um, let's see what happens in this video, man. For the real start, smash the like button right now. Subscribe if you're new because we're posting every single day. And let's get right into this video, man. How is he going to take part, take apart this black feminist? Let's get it. Hi, Hello. okay, um, my name is Tanae. I'm the current president of our NAACP chapter. Great. And so I just have a few questions. During your entire presentation, I noticed that you failed to mention that feminism is the belief that men and women are equal. So- And that, that, that is false because men and women are not equal. Carry on. Do not think this and then all feminism is the belief that men and women are equal. So do you not think this? And then also, I noticed when you were talking about America's values and about how great America is, yep. you failed to mention that our nation was built on the power of white men without the acknowledgement of black people, the Indians, women at least. So do you not think that men and women are equal? Do you not acknowledge the problems that we have here in America that does, in fact, not make America great? All right. Um, no, no, no. Let's be respectful. I be, mean, let's be not res triggered. I understand let's, how no, no, to no, no, handle no. myself. Nope, we're not equal, bro. There are roles men have to play, and there are roles women have to play, bro. And that's just how life is, you know? Some well, guys, supporters. guys, guys, guys. It was, a, so. it was a perfectly reasonable, respectful question. Let's be respectful. Thank you. Okay, um, sorry, so sorry. On the first half of your question, women don't agree with you. Uh, fewer than one in five women in America describes themselves as a feminist, even though over 85% of them believe in inequality between the sexes. Why? Because they know that feminism has become something different now. They know that the feminism you're talking about, it's very convenient, isn't it, to sort of treat men like shit, and then when people say, I'm not a feminist, say, oh, but feminism's out of quality. That's not what feminism has become. It's not what feminism is anymore. Feminism is a mean, vindictive, spiteful, nasty, man-hating philosophy. So that why has very would you Well, let me finish, because I let you finish, okay? okay. Um, that has very little to do with the equality of the sexes and a lot to do with man-hating. And the way that you know that is women are abandoning it in their millions. Women don't want feminism anymore. They have rejected your version completely. They don't agree with you. In the UK, the numbers are even worse. Just 7% of women in the UK describe themselves as feminist, despite the fact that 92% of women, in, uh, of women in, in the UK believe in equality of the sexes. It's very clear what's happening. They don't believe that those two things mean the same, because yeah. if they did, they'd give the pollsters the same answer to, the, to the, both those questions. Women know that feminists say one thing and do another. Women know that the primary purpose of feminism these days oh my God, is who is this? He is speaking facts, bro. Bro, yes, bro, feminism wants us to be equal, like men and women to be equal so bad, but it's like, it's such a big contradiction, you know? That feminists say one thing and do another. Women know that the primary purpose of feminism these days isn't to promote equality, it is to beat down on men. So you've lost, you know, you have a big PR problem on your hands, and when you come up and say, you know, well, how dare you not mention that it's actually just about quality of sex. And, 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 what's crazy, and what's crazy about what he just said, it's socially acceptable to beat down a man, bro. If you go, if you go on TikTok, it's, it's, it's all just women bashing men, bro. Like, oh my goodness, you can bash a man like crazy on TikTok. But as soon as you say, man, this girl's so mean, man, she, she like, she did this to me, da, 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 your account get banned. But, but a girl can come on TikTok and say, this dude did this to me, did, 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 did. I hate him, attack his account, and he be, he be gone in a heartbeat. But if you said that about, but if a man got on there and said, hey, y'all, she did be dirty, man, they laughing, they laughing at him, and then they taking down his account. Don't talk about women that way. Bro, I, I've seen it happen, bro. I'm not just talking, bro. It's a hundred, bro, he's, it's socially acceptable to beat down a man, bro. I don't care. You come up and say, you know, well, how dare you not mention that it's actually just about quality of the sexes. Don't you believe in the quality of the sexes? I very clearly said in my speech for multiple times that I do and that I love women, that I care about them. But, um, you know, this sleight of hand that feminists play 
when they're perfectly happy to treat men like shit and, and, and spread these conspiracy theories about the patriarchy, these lies about the wage gap, lies about campus rape culture, and then turn around and play the victim and play innocent and say, feminism's just about equality. Give me a break. Give me a break. So... <laughs> I just know, did he get canceled, bro? I just, he, I know he probably got canceled. Maybe not. Hopefully he didn't, bro. I just, he just, he's speaking so much facts. It's like, I just know. Y'all got to let me know, bro. Did he get canceled or no? Or is he like one of the uncancelables? As to your... As to your s second part of your question, um, I, I, get some, I get some shit from conservatives for this answer, by the way, but I agree with you. I agree with you that there are structural historical problems in this country. Um, I agree with you that black community has been treated like hell by both Democrats and Republicans. I just don't think Black Lives Matter is the answer. Um, I don't think that throwing your toys out the pram and burning your own cities is the answer. I think better schools would help. And I think if black people really want... 100%, 100% to improve their lot and improve their situation, they would start voting for Republicans. Because when they do, and when people police properly, black lives are saved. Bill Clinton, who signed the crime bill in, which took thousands of black dads out of families and threw them in jail, the terrible, pointless, awful war on, cr war on drugs, right? Um, replacing you know, the, the, the black dad with the state, which is what Democrats have systematically tried to do to you guys. For yep, they've been incentivized to marry the government, so they say. You know, the, the, the black dad with the state, which is what Democrats have systematically tried to do to you guys for generations. And Black Lives Matter's response isn't to say, we're going to try voting for the other guys because 40, 40 years of this hasn't worked. What we want is better schools so that a poor black child who is smart could go to Harvard. They don't do that. They cause a fuss, they block a road, and they burn their own towns down. So yeah, I agree with you that there's a problem. But I, I think we probably have very, very different prescriptions for that. That's it? Oh my gosh. Bro, I gotta know, did he get canceled or not? I'm like, oh my gosh. He, oh my gosh. A question. Um, I, I, get some, I get some shit from conservatives for this answer, by the way, but I agree with you. I agree with you that there are structural historical problems in this country. Um, I agree with you that black community has been treated like hell. By Bro, he's speaking so much facts in here. It's actually insane. Like, oh my gosh, man. A lot, not a lot of people could just speak, speak the truth like this in front of a crowd. Like, and I, I'm surprised people's actually clapping too. Democrats and Republicans. I just don't think Black Lives Matter is the answer. I mean, I know he, I know the feminists he's like talking to. I'm like, I know she like. No, you're wrong. I don't think that throwing your toys out the pram and burning your own cities is the answer. I think better schools would help. And I think if black people really wanted to improve their lot and improve their situation, they would start voting for Republicans. Because when they do, and when people police properly, black lives are saved. Bill Clinton, who signed the crime bill in, which took thousands of black dads out of families and threw them in jail, the terrible, pointless, awful war on, cr war on drugs, right? Um, replacing, you know, the, the, the black dad with the state, which is what Democrats have systematically tried to do to you guys for generations. And Black Lives Matter's response isn't to say, we're going to try voting for the other guys because... And it's like, Black Lives Matter, it's not doing anything, man. Nothing at all. It's just making a few people rich. And they can buy houses and boats and stuff like that, man. It's not doing anything. And that's the, and that's the, sad, and that's the sad thing. 40 years of this hasn't worked. What we want is better schools so that a poor black child who is smart could go to Harvard. They don't do that. They cause a fuss. They and it, it makes me wonder, like, when, when would there be, like, a change? You know what I'm saying? Like, when would there be, like, okay, y'all, we need to band together and do this? Or we just go stay in the victim mentality for so long? I don't know, man. I guess, like... I guess you got to you got to want better, you know what I'm saying? But uh yeah. Whoever Milo is, man, if y'all y'all can send me some more stuff. I don't know how to say his last name, that's why I'm just saying uh Milo, but if you guys want me to check out more things by Milo, let me know in the comments below what else should I check out cuz it seems really cool. Um but yeah, let me know in the comments below how you felt about this video, man. Um do you think Milo's uh, onto something? Is he tripping? Let me know, man. Let's have a conversation in the comment section. I'll see y'all in the next video, man. Peace.